Lisa Bonet has been a figure of mystery and enigma throughout her decades-long career. She is fiercely private and has a regal yet relaxed aura about her that is like a siren who seduces the audience with her charm. She has been on many Pinterest mood boards, TikToks, 80s and 90s edits, and Tumblr posts as this new generation only seems to grow more obsessed with her as the years come. Though she has a lower profile now and prefers peace and seclusion with her beautiful children, Lisa Bonet is still all the rage, but she has had her fair share of controversies through the years. Recently, she got a divorce from longtime partner Jason Momoa, and there are rumors that Amber Heard may have been the cause. We will discuss this further later on in the video. Also, we will discuss why I kind of understand why Cosby had to let her go and fire her after her controversial role in Angel Heart. Before we get into all of the juicy details of this beauty's inspiring rise to stardom, we will discuss some of her anti-aging beauty secrets because she gets better with time. She just aged so gracefully, as well as her fashion impact and some of her favorite things. We will also discuss her childhood and her illustrious career. But first, as always, hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Lude, where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars in history. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. And if you're already subscribed, please turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with her beauty secrets first. At 55 years old, she looks just as young and beautiful as her daughter Zoe Kravitz. So what are the secrets to her timeless beauty? Let's dive in. Lisa is known for taking care of her skin extremely well. She uses natural products. Her skincare routine includes washing her face with only water in the morning and cleansing with honey, lemon, and coconut oil at night. She also uses serums and facial oils to keep her skin hydrated and glowing. Lisa emphasizes the importance of taking your time with a skincare routine and sticking with natural products. Next up, let's talk about her fitness. Lisa's fitness routine includes a mix of yoga, Pilates, and cardio exercises like running and hiking. She also enjoys surfing and paddle boarding when she gets the chance. Lisa credits her toned physique to a vegan diet, which she has been following for over 30 years. Her favorite foods include green smoothies, quinoa, and vegetable stir fries. In an interview with the beauty chef, Bonet revealed that she starts her day with water followed by a green smoothie or fresh juice. When it comes to Lisa Bonet's personality, she is described as being down to earth, eccentric, and free-spirited. Famously private about her personal life, Bonet generally sticks to a low profile and enjoys her home life with her family. She is known for her love of all things natural. Aside from her beauty secrets, Bonet has some favorite things that she loves to indulge in. Her favorite color is green, which she finds calming and soothing, and her go-to food is avocado. So, Put a green heart in the comment section for Lisa Bonet. Now onto her fashion. Lisa's style is best described as bohemian eclectic. She loves to mix vintage pieces with modern clothing and she's never one to shy away from bold patterns or colors. Her go-to accessories include hats, scarves, and statement jewelry. Lisa has also been known to rock some incredible hairstyles over the years, from braids to dreadlocks to a short pixie cut. Her hair secrets, keeping it healthy and moisturized with natural oils like coconut and olive. Lisa has been a beauty icon for many years, inspiring countless people to embrace their natural beauty. Her effortless style and natural beauty have made her a role model for many women. She loves to travel and try new things, and she's always looking for ways to give back to her community. Now let's hop into her childhood. Lisa Michelle Bonet had a unique upbringing due to her mixed race heritage and artistic family background. Born on November 16, 1967 in lively San Francisco, California, Lisa's parents were Arlene Joyce Littman and Alan and Bonet. Arlene was a school teacher with Jewish heritage and Allen was an esteemed opera singer originally from Texas but of African-American descent. Together they created a colorful and enriching childhood for Lisa and her five half-sisters. Lisa's parents split up when she was young leaving her to be raised by her mother. Despite their separation both parents maintained a close relationship with Lisa and she spent time with both of them throughout her childhood. As a child, Lisa was drawn to the arts, just like her father. She enjoyed singing, dancing, and acting, and her parents encouraged her to pursue her creative passions. Outside of the arts, Lisa was also an active child, enjoying sports like basketball and soccer. Lisa has spoken about her childhood, describing herself as an introspective child who was quite shy. In interviews, she has noted how her background allowed her to have a unique perspective and propelled her towards a career in acting. 
Lisa attended Birmingham High School in Van Nuys, California, where she was involved in theater productions. After graduation, she went on to study acting at the Celluloid Actors Studio located in North Hollywood, California. Lisa's family has always been supportive of her career choices. Her father once described her as a born actress, while her mother noted how Lisa was always able to connect with people on an emotional level. Now, as far as her career, Lisa Bonet is a renowned American actress who has built a remarkable career in the entertainment industry. She got her start as a child beauty pageant contestant and appeared in guest spots on various television series. However, her breakthrough role came in 1984 when she landed the part of Denise Huxtable on the iconic sitcom The Cosby Show. In this show, she played the second oldest child of the Huxable family, portrayed by Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad. Bonet's performance on The Cosby Show earned her critical acclaim and instant recognition. In 1986, she received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. She starred in the 1987 thriller Angel Heart, opposite Mickey Rook. For her performance in Angel Heart, Bonet received a nomination for the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress. Despite her promising career, Bonet was not without controversy. After announcing her pregnancy while working on A Different World, she was fired from the show, but we're going to talk about that. Bonet returned to the big screen in the late 1990s, appearing in Enemy of the State and High Fidelity. She also hosted Why Bother Voting, an election special in 1992. However, it was not until 2014's Road to Paloma that she landed another leading film role. Bonet's television appearances included several guest spots on popular shows such as Life on Mars, New Girl, and Girls. She also had a recurring role in The Red Road, a drama series co-starring her future husband Jason Momoa. Now let's talk about her Angel Heart controversy, which is this film that got her fired from The Cosby Show. In 1987, her role in the movie Angel Heart turned the tables upside down and her image changed overnight. Angel Heart is a gritty neo-noir thriller that takes place in 1950s New York City. The film follows the story of private detective Harry Angel, who is hired by a mysterious client to investigate the whereabouts of a missing singer named Johnny Favorite. Lisa Bonet plays Epiphany Proudfoot, a young voodoo priestess who becomes a love interest to Harry Angel. Her character is sensual, seductive, and mysterious. She's also involved in several explicit, you know, scenes that have stirred up a lot of controversy at that time. The movie was rated R for its graphic scenes, and they even had to remove some scenes from it because it was too graphic. There was gore and there was violence. But what made it even more controversial was Lisa Bonet's involvement in these scenes. As a young actress who has just come out of a wholesome family sitcom, her role in Angel Heart was a massive departure from her previous work. Many fans were shocked and some were even outraged. The media went wild with the news, reporting that she had stripped down to nothing and had intimacy with Mickey Work on screen. Lisa Bonet plays Epiphany Proudfoot, a young voodoo priestess who becomes a love interest to Harry Angel, of private investigator Harold Angel, played by Mickey Rourke, who is hired by a mysterious man called Louis Cipher, played by Robert De Niro, to investigate the whereabouts of a popular singer, Johnny Favorite. He also explains that Favorite was actually a powerful occultist who sold his soul to Satan in exchange for stardom. He got his stardom, but then sought to renege on the bargain. To do so, Favorite kidnapped a young soldier from Times Square and performed a satanic ritual on the boy, taking his life and eating his steel beating heart in order to steal his soul. This was all in a movie, okay? Favorite planned to assume the identity of the murdered soldier, but was drafted and then injured overseas, suffering severe facial trauma and amnesia. Bonet's character plays the daughter of one of the potential suspects. In one scene, she was bare having aggressive intimacy with Mickey and blood was falling and splashing everywhere from the ceilings. It was so graphic, gory, and dark. In the end of the movie, Lisa Bonet ended up getting pregnant by the devil and gave birth to a demon baby and the protagonist ended up having his soul snatched by the devil and an elevator opens up to bring him down to hell. So yeah, it was a pretty extreme movie. They also criticized her for not being a good role model for young girls and tarnishing her wholesome image. She was only 18 at the time and it happened so fast and so quick, no one had time to adjust to her growing up. However, Lisa Bonet defended her role, stating that it was a necessary step in her career and allowed her to explore her range as an actress. She believed that her character was necessary to the story and the intimate scenes had artistic value. 
Many critics accuse the filmmakers of exploiting the actress for the sake of titillation because many creepy men were waiting and thirsting for Lisa to come of age to see her bareness and the director may have played on that just like they did with Brooke Shields, you know? While others argued that Bonet was simply exploring her artistic range and she was just growing up. Despite these debates, it cannot be denied that the film's graphic content pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in Hollywood at that time. However, the controversy surrounding her role in the film and her subsequent decision to post Semi Bear for a magazine shortly after undermined the positive reputation she had gained from her role in The Cosby Show. For many, she was no longer seen as the wholesome actress from a beloved sitcom. Lisa Bonet's role in Angel Heart was a turning point in her career and a significant departure from her previous work. The explicit scenes and neo-noir tone of the film was controversial and shocking at the time, leading to criticism of Bonet for abandoning her wholesome image and tarnishing her reputation as a good role model for young girls. However, the film was a critical and commercial success and allowed Bonet to showcase her range as an actress. Now, what about Cosby? How did he react to this? And then I'll give you guys my opinion. Lisa Bonet and Bill Cosby had a tumultuous professional relationship that began to sour after Bonet turned 18 and started to veer away from her wholesome on-screen image on The Cosby Show. The actress who played the role of Denise Huxtable began to explore more mature themes and took on a provocative role, including a bare scene in Angel Heart. Cosby, who is known for his conservative views and advocacy for the Black American community, reportedly disapproved of Bonet's choices and publicly criticized her. The tension between the two became exasperated when Bonet became pregnant. And according to Lenny Kravitz's memoir, Cosby already knew about Bonet's pregnancy. Cosby allegedly asked Bonet if she was pregnant, to which Allen explained that she wanted her character to raise a child on her own. Cosby needed time to consider the decision and eventually called back to say, and I quote, Lisa Bonet is pregnant, but Denise Huxtable is not, end quote. Following this exchange, Bonet was let go from the show. The actress later spoke out about her former co-star's multiple allegations, indicating that she had always sensed a sinister shadowy energy around him. Overall, it seems that Bonet and Cosby had fundamentally different visions for Bonet's career and image. While Cosby wanted her to remain wholesome and family friendly, Bonet wanted to explore more mature themes and push her boundaries as an actress. She stated to Rolling Stone that she always felt like she was on trial with Cosby. Cosby had an image he wanted to uphold with the cast of the the show and he had a lot of pride in portraying a wholesome image of a black functional family even off the screen and Lisa was young and just wanted to explore what was out there you know my opinion since it was Cosby's brand at the time despite the controversy this is just coming from an unbiased place if it was his brand to have this image on screen for his show and it was working for him he had the most popular show on television and was making millions and billions from it from this image he does reserve the right to let go of anyone that's gonna take away from that image because there was so much public outcry imagine you have a business you have a functioning business look at the girl on TikTok. I don't know their name they were bullying some girl on the bleachers taking pictures right it was a whole thing trending everywhere and they went to shut down that whole company that she was just an employee at not caring about other employers that work there the owner or anything like that they just shut everything down right when you're famous decisions you make on your personal life things you say movie roles that you take can really take a lot of opportunities from you i'm sure lisa knew that if she went and did a film like that especially something so controversial when cosby was portraying like this wholesome christian image <laughs> To society and then she goes and do like a movie with you know a cult she's a whole voodoo priestess in it and all of that then you guys can kind of see how that would take away from the show and then you become pregnant Denise Huxtable the character is so different from Lisa Bonet the person right they're not the same people at all it's two different people Lisa wanted to live a whole different life and I think that people go down hard on Kazi for this I know I know I'm not in no sense this has nothing to do with his allegations or anything like that okay you can disagree with the person but still understand their business decision at the time I definitely would have made the same decision if I was Cosby if it went so far from my brand you know when you're in a business and once you have a brand you don't have to be famous for that you could be anybody like I said the girl with TikTok her family that's their brand the company that they had I, I believe owned the company and then TikTok banded together and got that company permanently shut down when her parents had nothing to do with it right her parents had absolutely nothing to do with it it's like here on YouTube if YouTube give me some guidelines you guys see I avoid cursing 
on YouTube. You guys see I filter my words, I avoid putting certain clips up and stuff because I know the guidelines and I know that YouTube at any minute feels like something's inappropriate, especially because you're when you're a black creator, it's even worse. If they feel like it's inappropriate, they strike down on you even harder. So in a sense, if I do want to keep my platform, if I want to continue doing content for you guys, I have to abide by the rules. I can't just decide to go out of the rules and be so off brand from YouTube, even if it's not fair because other people can go off brand, do a lot of stuff, and you've seen those same people be re rewarded because of privilege, I still know that I don't have have that, that type of privilege, you know what I mean? And Cosby understood also that there's a certain privilege that African Americans and black people in general, it doesn't matter what your cultural background was in Hollywood, did not have the privilege of being so controversial during those days because they always came down on you harder for the controversies and he would have to take the flack for it and people would probably call for his head. And Lisa Bonet has um, played in some controversial films and you know, that's her whole aesthetic. She has that dark aesthetic, you know, that witchy bohemian aesthetic and the symbolic tattoos and stuff like that. She already has that aesthetic and when she made Angel Heart, she was leaning more towards it. Comment below your thoughts and don't come for me. Everybody can have their own opinions. Respectfully explain your opinion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you were Cosby, would you still have Lisa on your show? Be honest, guys. Be honest. If you knew it was going to take millions out of your pocket and you would lose millions of supporters from your business, would you still do it? Okay, now let's talk about her and Lenny Kravitz. Lisa Bonet's relationship with Lenny Kravitz was one of the most high profile romances of the 80s and early 90s. They met backstage at a new edition concert and were immediately drawn to each other with Kravitz admitting that he was mesmerized by her. They eventually tied the knot in 1987 and welcomed their daughter Zoe Kravitz a year later. And the couple eventually separated in 1991. Kravitz has spoken about how painful the split was, revealing that he only slept for two hours a day for six months following their breakup. He has also admitted that he wasn't ready for the commitment of marriage and that he had to take a break to deal with some personal issues. Despite this, Bonet and Kravitz were able to put their differences aside for the sake of their daughter. Kravitz has praised Bonet for being an incredible mother to Zoe and has spoken about how much he values their co-parenting relationship. Bonet has also spoken positively about Kravitz, calling him her best friend and praising him as a father. So why did they split up? The exact reasons are unclear, but both Bonet and Kravitz have spoken about their relationship being difficult. Kravitz has described them as mirror images of each other, but also admitted that this made things complicated. In an interview with Rolling Stone, he talked about how they went through a difficult time during their breakup and how his song, It Ain't Over Till It's Over, was written about Bonet. And despite the ups and downs of their relationship, Bonet and Kravitz have managed to maintain a loving relationship as co-parents. They continue to support each other in their respective careers and remain close friends. Now let's talk about her and Jason Momoa. Lisa Bonet's marriage with Jason Momoa were one of Hollywood's most beloved couples, right? Garnering praise from fans and media alike for their love and commitment. They first met in 2004 at a jazz club in New York City and developed a strong friendship that eventually blossomed into a romantic relationship. The couple's chemistry was undeniable and their love for each other was evident in every public appearance they made. Bonet and Momoa were a perfect match for each other, both in looks and personality. They exuded a hippie, sexy aura that made them an iconic couple. The couple was extremely private about their personal life, but they would occasionally share a glimpse of their relationship on their social media handles. The internet was flooded with pictures of the couple and their beautiful family, constantly reminding everyone that they were relationship goals. However, in January 2022, the couple announced that they were separating after 16 years of being together. News of their split shocked fans worldwide as they were considered one of Hollywood's most stable couples. And according to an insider, the couple grew up part due to different focuses in their lives, with Momoa's rising career being the main reason. While Jason wanted to travel and adventure more, Lisa would rather read, write poetry, and cook at home. The news of their split led to many rumors speculating the reason behind it. One rumor that caught everyone's attention was the alleged involvement of Amber Heard in the split. Mm. According to The Sun, during an interview with Good Morning America back in 2018, Amber Heard explained that Momoa had a particular way of getting her attention when they were on set of Aquaman whenever he needed it, explaining that he is allergic to being ignored, she said. He adopted this method of ripping out the pages of my book so I would pay attention to him. 
it would drive me crazy because I'd have 30 pages left and it would be gone. End quote. If that weren't enough, many people have also noticed that Momoa and Heard did share a lot of photos of them together on social media. That was a little too close for comfort. And Jason Momoa is one of the people that did stand by her with the Johnny Depp trials, right? And he fought for her to not be removed from Aquaman, which he also suffered percussions for. So people was like, why are you going so hard for her? Mm -hmm. Claims that the pair were ever more than friends have never been confirmed though. And it seems they both had other love interests at the time and both Bonet and Momoa continued to maintain their silence about the reason behind their split. In conclusion, Bonet and Momoa's love story was beautiful and inspiring, but unfortunately all good things come to an end. However, the two remain committed to co-parenting their children and keeping their split amicable. The world may never know the exact reason behind their split, but it's clear that the love and respect they share for each other will never go away. They still co-parent really well, and they've just been very kind and supportive of their children, and Jason Momoa is very supportive of Zoe. Please comment below your thoughts. I'm so curious to read what you guys have to say. And if you like the music you're listening to, the link is in the description. Support my brother. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to comment below more suggestions on who you would like me to add to my list. Until next time.